All right, we're live here. We're going to start in three minutes about uh, for our Fusion Impact class. Again, parents, you're welcome to join in uh, in these classes. And uh, I've had the question of if we join in, are we allowed to test at the testings? And absolutely, if you learn the curriculum and you'd like to register for the testing as well, uh, not this time necessarily because this is kind of quick, but in June, if you're testing with, training with us for the next two months, then you're more than welcome to test with us. Uh, you guys are incredible. All right, so we're going to start our Fusion. Why do we just do it at the same time? That was weird. <laughs> Fusion Impact class here in two minutes and 27 seconds. I think it's because we're together we are. all the time. Yep. All right. You don't necessarily need much for this class. Grab a bottle of water or water. Uh, and uh, who do we have? Brooklyn's in the house. Hey, Austin. Good. And Lindsay. Excellent. So we are going to, at the end, do kind of a fun circuit training drill where you are going to choose what circuit drills you're going to do at each stage. So you're going to kind of build your own circuit training, and we're going to have three different stations. If you have four or more people in your group, in your uh, family doing the class, then you can have two people at one station if you want to kind of rotate in. All right, good. Mr. Fiani, hello. Hey, Mr. Jaylee, Mr. Rich. Who else do we have on this one? Martha and Gabe in the hey, house. Hello. All right. All right. Nicholas, good. So again, toward the end, you're going to need to set up your own stations. One is going to be legs, one is going to be core, one is going to be arms. When we get to the end, I'll show you what mine are, and if you want to set yours up similarly, you can, or you can do three completely different stations. But you can be creative, set up your own uh, station. Again, if there's two or three of you working out, you'll each start at one station, then we'll rotate as time uh, progresses. So again, uh, you can kind of be thinking about what you're going to do for your three stations, and Mrs. Rashad and I have three stations. And we're going to rotate around them. Have an extra stop. So I don't need an extra Four chair? No, we're just going well, to you rotate. said you had three of your own. Well, you know, I have three of my own workout that we're going to do. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so we have 59 seconds. So who else do we have here? The, the Latrells. Excellent. So not just Colson. Hey, All right. Hey, awesome. Good. Hey, Miss Rich. We are excited. We have 48 seconds. You guys are super lucky that you cannot smell me after teaching the last two classes. Mrs. Rashad has the fortunate, uh, she has her nose plugged there, but uh, we are working hard, getting it done here, and if, again, read your email that you got today. If you haven't read that email yet, it talks about how we're doing testing, and uh, just a, a big reward for those of you that stick with us in the next two months as we promote you guys. Also talking about how testing is going to work for next week, so check that out so that uh, we're able to stay on track with testing and get everybody going. And Aspen's here. Aspen. I was like, weird. wait a minute, I'm You're online. Oh, it's Aspen. So Hi, Aspen. Aspen's logged in from home. Excellent. Nine seconds, and we're going to get started here. All right. That's yours. I need to get another bottle here. I got you one. Oh, that's for me. That's for you. Wow. I got one over here. See, I thought of you, Mr. Wow. Chad. That's something. That's real love. I'm going to give you an extra class credit for that. Thank you. All right. All right. Real love put this is actually here. standing this close to you after you've worked out for two classes. She's not wrong. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started. So as we go through this, again, I'm going to say this most of the classes that I teach, but the room you're in now, that's your dojo. That's your martial arts school. That's where you're going to train. I know it might feel weird. Maybe by now it doesn't feel weird because we've been kind of doing this for a week, but it feels like it's been like a month, right? All right, and so can we go through last cycle's form? So tell you what, we'll set up for all of my second years who need last cycles form, we'll set up some private lessons so we can one on one go through that. Okay, so I'll give you a jump start on it when we get to that point. Forms point, I'll give you kind of a jump start on what that form was to jump start your mind. All right, but then for any second degrees and above, that's a good point. We'll set up some private lessons so we can jump on here and go through that. All right, all right, very good. Hey guys, hey there, Mr. Hoy. All right, so we're gonna start off with our bow in. So again, say these with us if you know them. If not, kind of listen along. We're gonna face front, strong bow. Good. Academy tests begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. And strong bow. All right, we're going to start ready stance. 15 jumping jacks. Ready? Go for it. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, twelve. Almost there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. If you just wise your shoulders, neck rotations. Getting nice and loosened up here. Good. Then other way. Big circles with your head. Get your neck muscles warmed up. It's called neck rotations. You're not really rotating your neck, though, are you? I guess that, this would be rotating my neck. Anyways, arm circles forward. No, that would be rotating your upper body. I don't know. How do you rotate your neck? You then? just rotated your neck. That was my head that rotated. And backwards. Your head just went along for the ride. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, good. And Tuesday challenge. Here we go. Take your left arm, swing it forward. And then your right arm's going backwards. Is it really only 
Tuesday? How is, is this possible? Seriously, only Tuesday. All right, good. Right arm now going forward. Then left arm going backwards. Good. That likes to air, air everything out here. Good. Back and forth across the body. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Up and down this way. All right. Again, make sure you throw your name in there if you're doing class with us. Hey, JP. Good. All right, feet twice on your shoulders, going over the top side to side, stretching your obliques. Good. Then twist side to side, get your lower back warmed up, ready to roll. Excellent. Then from there, legs straight. I'll bring my chest onto one side, then the other side, side to side. Good. Try to keep your legs straight, get a good low stretch here. All right, good. Hands on the floor, hips side to side. Good, side to side. You know they say the hips don't lie. The bad. hips don't lie. <laughs> My hips lie all the time. Mine are telling me I'm tired. All right, good. From here, we have our warm-up. If you've been with me in some of the morning sessions, I think this might be my first evening session teaching. I don't know. Uh, the first morning session I taught a, a couple weeks ago, was, last week, feels like a couple weeks ago, was a lot of the push-ups and crunches and squats. We're going to do a little bit of that later. But right now, we're going to practice for testing, okay? So for testing, part of our test is, is doing push-ups, sit-ups and squats. So we're going to get some of these in now as our warm-up and kind of get them out of the way, all right? So first, we have 20 seconds. I guess I need to start this. Hold on now. 20 seconds of push-ups. Now, as we do 20 seconds of push-ups, what I want to encourage you guys is that you do full range push-ups, or if you can't do full range, hold on, don't start yet. If you can't do full range push-ups, swap out shoulder tags. If you need to do push-ups on your knees, you can do that. Okay, so here we go. We're going for 20, no, no yawning yet, Mrs. Rashad. 20 seconds. All right, here we go. And, hey, Mr. Tellez. All right, and go for it. All right, I'm just going to right here. I'm going to be in front. I'm going to be in front of you doing push-ups. So I'm going to block you. Okay? That's fine. Good. So 12 seconds left. Keep going. Shoulder tags really engage the core. Yep, I'm feeling it. Three seconds. Two seconds. One seconds. And rest. All right, good. From here, we have 20 seconds of full range sit-ups. So do the best you can to get full range on these. All right. 20 seconds. All the way back. All the way up. Sit-ups ready. Set and go for it. I'm gonna go diagonally just to mess up the shot here. All the way down, all the way up. Only 12 seconds left. Whole body warmed up before we stretch. Good. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent, we're gonna hop up from there and get 20 seconds of squats. As we do squats, pretend you're like leaning back against a wall so you're not bringing your shoulders forward. You don't wanna lean forward into this one, okay? Here we go, ready. 20 seconds, go for it. Good, back is up straight. You can keep your hands up in guard. That just looks cooler than this. This doesn't look quite as fun. There you go. Back is straight, knees bend. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. We're gonna go through that one more time. Okay, so if before the push-ups were a struggle for you, that's okay, go to shoulder tags, okay? If that was hard for you, put your knees down and do shoulder tags, all right? We need to make sure that we do whatever we can, do the best job we can. Ready? 20 seconds, set, and go for it. Good. 15 seconds are already doing good. Already down to 12. Now nine. Don't quit, don't give up, keep pushing. Good, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, sit-ups. There's not a round three, by the way. There's just round two. Okay, sit-ups, 20 seconds. Ready? Deep breath. And go for it. Excuse me, all the way up, all the way down. Coughing as I'm sitting. Good. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, almost there. One, and hop up. Here we go, squats. And this is just the beginning. Here we go. Yes, for the second time here for us. Yeah, you know, yeah. details. All right, 20 seconds, ready to go for it. Would that be the second beginning? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> 14 seconds. Well, see, I didn't do this in the last class, did I? I think you did. No, you didn't. I yeah, did. I didn't do these last for class. For you, it's not the Eight second beginning. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, 
One. Good job. All right, now we're going to stretch it out. So find yourself a spot. Have a seat. On your feet, seated ankle stretch. All right, good. So as we're stretching, remember, hopefully very soon, you guys will be back in this floor, back in this room training. And just think, if you're trained twice a week at home, some of you have seen training three times a week. If you're doing these stretches three times a week at home, you will be more flexible when you're back in this room, okay? Well, it goes back to the toe stretch. And you're on the ball of your feet. I showed this the other day. I'm sitting back on the balls of my feet, stretching my toes out. Front kicks and round kicks when we break boards. We hit the ball of our foot. This just helps our toes to move out of the way. And it just feels really good. I don't know. My toes feel like they're going to pop. Oh, that's my favorite stretch. Huh. I like cobra stretch. Let's do it. Cobra stretch, hips down, shoulders up. Especially after all those setups we just did. Good. Hips down, shoulders up. You can lean into it one side. Mr. Rich, I we're like. back. I think we should have a party. I think when we're back, it will be a party. I know. Hey, cat back, head down, shoulders up. Good. So again, hands can be palm down like this. You can also turn your palms up like this and stretch your wrists out. Or you can go palms down with your fingertips point to your knees to stretch your forearms out there. Good. Oh. Yeah, kind of fun. And back bow. Arms up, legs up, heads up. Skydiver stretch if you do it like this. Superman stretch if you do it like this. Your choice. Up to you. Good. Up a little higher for five. Four, three, two, one, inhale. Good. Back rollers. As we do these back rollers, don't hit your head on anything. Hold on your knees. You're going to the base of your neck and then forward. Don't hit your head. Five times. Ready to go. There's one. All the way back. And forward two. And back. Four, three. There's four. One more. And five. From here, we're going to get three jackknife back rollers on each side. So jackknife back roller. I'm going to bend one knee, hold it. My other hand's gonna grab my ankle, my other foot, bring it to the floor, and forward again. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Don't try, if you can't do it, just kind of pull it down as far until you feel the tightness, then forward again. So, three on one side, then switch, and do three on the other. Ready, hold on, go for it. Back, pull one, and forward. Back, pull two, forward, back, pull three, and then other side, yeah. All right, other side, one, holding on to one, grab the other, two, one more, Three. Then legs straight, feet together. As we stretch forward, make sure to keep your legs straight, toes up, and lean into it. Right, about 10 seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, a little bit lower. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. One leg straight. The other one hides around behind you. The hurdler stretch. We're going to keep our knees away from each other. So I don't want my knees to be close or else I'll fall down. So keep that knee back. If you can pull it further back, that's great. Then lean your chest forward, reach with your arms, head down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, a little bit lower. 3, 2, 1. Good. Switch it up, other side. Feeling the burn. Here we go. Good. Lean into it, reach, head down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, a little bit lower. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Take your right leg cross over. So I did flip the camera. That's why my shirt is backwards. So my right side is on the same side it looks like to you, mirror image. So my right knee is up. We're gonna twist to the right. <laughs> I normally you say it doesn't matter. Mrs. Rashad goes to the beat of run drummer. All right, good, and switch to the other side. Whatever knee is up, go twist to that side. That'll work. Good. <laughs> you get a good stretch in your low back. If it pops five times, you went too far. All right, good. Throw on there, lay back in your back, pull one knee in your chest, other oh, leg straight. Switch legs every 4.8 seconds. Every 4.8 seconds. Note that our front leg is not touching the floor, it's hovering above the floor. Good stretch. This might be my favorite right here. Lay back and chill out and stretch at the same time. All right, good. Let's set up legs out to a V. So as we do these side to side stretches, make sure you feel the tightness in your legs before the stretch. So right now I don't feel the tightness yet, so I'm gonna push my leg out until I feel that. I feel it now, all right? So from here, hands behind your head, one side to side, stretch all, as far as you can one way, and as far as you can the other way. Let's get 10, ready to go. One, two, three, try to keep your back straight. Four, good, all the way, five. Keep it up, six, almost there, seven. Keep it going, eight, and nine, and 10, good job. From there, go and finish up if you're not done with those. When you're done, put your legs out further and on your own, stretch to the right, left, or down in the middle. Go for it. Nice, low stretch, reaching forward. 
You can grab on your feet if you like and pull yourself down. Good stretch, right, left, or down the middle. All right. Good. From there, butterfly stretch. Bottoms your feet together. Move these up and down like butterfly wings or push them down to the mat. Very good. Get that stretch for a few more seconds. Then we'll get up and get going. Awesome. Good job. Go ahead and hop up. There. And we get five more jumping jacks while I get some water. Go for it. There. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. You guys can get water in a minute, too. Don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Now we're going to review. Can you tilt me up a little bit there? I would love to. Right about there. There okay. you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna go through forms a little bit. So with forms, many of you already have your form stripes. Some of you did the tournament, so like you know your form, okay? So what I want you to do, those of you that know your form and don't need any help, what I'm gonna have you do is practice your form, okay? What I want you to work on is slow, then sharp. Slow, then sharp. So what that looks like is this. I go from here, I go slow, sharp. Slow, sharp. So I should actually go slower, my pace should be slower than normal because I'm going so slow that I lock it out at the end but the moves themselves have power behind them, okay? So while you're practicing that, okay, I'm gonna go through this cycle's form with everybody else, and then again, second degrees and above, I will give you guys a jump start for the last cycle's form uh, for you guys, okay? So. Are we setting a timer for this? Oh, uh, we can set a timer. Earlier? No, we, we didn't yet. She wants, she wants to set a timer. I don't care if you set a timer. You know what, Consisten consistency is key. I agree, Mrs. Mershad. <laughs> All right, so if you're working on your own, there's your timer to work on your own. If you're working with us, Mrs. Rashad is going to work with the black belt, so we the twist kick. I'm going to do the side kick with the red belt and below. So we're here. Feet are together. We're going to cross left arm on top. And again, this is our left side. It's your left side. We're all going this direction. Ready? Left arm low block. Recross. Chop. Keep it there. Red belt and below. We're going to side kick. Black belts are going to twist kick. We land nice, strong front stance, back arm punch. From there, we're going to come together, cross the arm on top. Low block the right. Again, this is our right also. Recross, chop, lift, side kick or twist kick, back arm punch, point the punch, put the other hand behind your ear like you're trying to listen to somebody, turn like you're holding a pizza, inner chop one. Other hand prepare, step, inner chop two, hands forward, hi -ya! knee strike. Let's go through section one one more time. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Then we're gonna focus on section two. Then in our kicking section later, we're gonna practice section three for those of you that have it, okay? So from here, hug, low block, recross, chop, you have your kick, Land back arm punch. Adjustment. Come you. together. Low block. Please don't kick me. <laughs> Hug, chop. You've got your kick. Back arm punch. Inner chop with the right hand. Again, this is our right also. Step left chop. Hands forward. Hey -ya! Knee strike. Hey -ya! Now, from there, section two. So I just landed my left foot here. We're going to go away from your TV. Your right arm is going to cross the top. Your right leg is going to step out. Low block. Back arm palm strike. Purple belts and below. We're doing a back leg front kick. Brown and red belts, you're going to do an axe kick. Mrs. Rashad, the black belts, you're going to do a front kick axe kick with that back leg. Ready? Go for it. When we land, we're going to do another low block. We're going to do another palm strike, that same kick you just did. When we land this time, back arm punch one. Hop switch leg, back arm punch two. Right leg comes together. Yeah. Yeah. Knee strike, feet land together. All right? I know it's kind of weird because you got to look at your TV over your shoulder. I'm so sorry it's hard to do that. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. So from here, one more time. We just got it with a left knee strike, so everybody face that way. Right arm crosses on top, going away from your TV, so you need to kind of keep your head back like I am. Step out with your right leg, low block. Palm strike, back leg does your kick, front kick for blue and purple, good. Then low block again, palm strike again, that same kick. Land, back arm punch one, hop switch legs punch two, right knee strike, hey Very good, all right, again, we're gonna go through section three in a little bit, so practice what you can. All right, for those second degrees who are up to test, the last form, when I'm done with that last drop round kick here, I come from here, I step forward, chop punch, left, right. So my left side goes forward, chop punch, then step forward to the right, chop punch. From there, you're gonna high block with the right, hammer with the left, we turn to the left side, outside block, going away from your TV, step side kick, back arm punch, then I do those moves again. High block, switch arms hammer, switch arms outside block, step side kick, back arm punch, then if you remember, section two was low block to the right, outer forearm block to the right, front leg kick, back leg kick, same thing left, low block, outer forearm block, front leg kick, jump back leg kick, hooking block here, then you've got round hook, round, oh that was sloppy, sorry, not yours, mine, chop, step back, <laughs> push down, hooking block here, round hook, round chop, step back, push down, 
up with the elbow, down with the punch, drop to the side, and punch. So later you can rewind this and watch that again, okay? We'll also send that link out to second degrees and above if you have any questions, all right? Very good. Moving on. What are we moving on to? That's a good question. Self-defense. One more time. Set the table. I'll do it right at the very end with you. One more time, okay? All right. So real quick, sparring. No, self-defense. So our self-defense for this cycle, our self-defense for this cycle is two palm strikes, two elbows, two downward elbows, two knee strikes, a break ball, and getting up in base. It's a lot, okay? We're going to practice a couple times. Some of you already have this down, but that's good to keep practicing it, okay? So starting off, our self-defense stance is here, hey, and I don't want any trouble, you know, that sort of thing. He comes up, she comes up, tries to attack, whatever, we're defending. So first starting off, palm one, two, elbow one, two, downward elbow one, two, knee strike one, two. All right, let's start with that. All right, then we'll do a couple of break balls, then we're gonna work on getting in the base, then we're gonna practice some kicking drills on the floor. All right, so again, we're going palm, palm, Elbow, elbow, down elbow, down elbow, knee, knee, okay? And what these are is they're actually getting from longer range to shorter range, okay? What I mean by that is right here, I can't hit her with this or this or this, but I can reach her with this, okay? So the idea here is that that hit, as she engages forward, all right, I can hit with these, but I can't reach with these, all right? Now, I, as she got dropped down, I can hit with those and those. I know it looks mean, but that's how they're designed, okay? So on your own, I want you to practice. Palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down, elbow, down, elbow, knee, knee, okay? Go ahead and practice those. Ready? Go for it. Two palms, two elbows, two downward elbows, two knees. Good. About five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Going on from there to our break fall and getting up in base, all right? So when I break fall, get up in base, I want to understand that if I just fall and I reach my hand back to catch myself, I can break my arm. And if I have a broken arm, that's really hard to fight with one good arm and one of these, okay, whatever this is. All right, so I want to roll back and kind of stop myself, break my fall, so I stop myself from hitting my head. So from here, the way you're going to start this is you're going to sit like you're sitting in a very tiny chair, hands up. Then I'm going to roll back. When the middle of my back hits the floor, my hands stop my fall so I don't hit my head, okay? Now, getting up in base. From here, I've got one foot planted in the opposite hand. So this is my left foot, my right hand, my other hand up to block in case someone's trying to kick me. From here, I lift my whole body up off the floor. So this leg right here lifts up. So now I'm on that foot, that hand. This foot threads back behind my foot, behind my hand, and back. Okay? So I'm going to do this both from the sides. You can see that same angle, uh, or same idea from the different angles. So I'm here. I sit, roll back, pop. Then from here, I get to my side. I'm going to scoot back so you can see me. Plant one foot opposite hand. My other hand is up. Lift. I pull this foot back. And then I get up and scoot back so I can... Uh, get my space, okay? So I want you to practice that break ball a couple of times. So I'll go ahead and set the clock here. This is such a fancy thing here. I get to set my clock and not have to worry about it. All right, 30 seconds. So practice that break ball a couple times with getting up in base. Ready? Go for it. All of you. There you go. Good. Roll back. Pop. One side and up. And thread that needle. Good. Get a couple more. You got 18 seconds. Doing great. Doing great. May or may not be doing great. Good, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I wanted to make one. it in time. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I'm good there, that's perfect. All right, so now the idea here is with some of these ground kicks is I'm on the ground and somebody else is above me, okay? So for this one, we're gonna have you know, Mrs. Rashad be the person that's above me, the bad guy, okay? You don't need a bad guy if no one else is there, that's perfectly fine. Just imagine she's there and she's the bad guy, she's attacking. You should be the bad guy. I'm good. All right, so from here, <laughs> when I fell back here, I get up to this position, all right? And uh, I'm gonna turn this up. And I realize this person's close to me, so I can't just get up in base. So I'm gonna drop my elbow back down and pull my knee in, and I'm gonna be able to kick to defend myself to get space. All right, so again, that's where I want to get to. So on our side, all right, I'm gonna turn the front face you guys. I'm gonna go diagonally. So, so what I want you guys to do is bring your knee into your chest here, and then push, knee in, push. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this kick a couple of times. Again, as if someone was there, you don't need someone there. Don't hit your couch, your dog, all right? But we're working on that push of that side kick, all right? We're gonna get 10 of them on each side. Ready? With me, go for it. One, bring it back. Two, bring it back. Three, four, five, six, keep it going. Seven, eight, his hands up to block still. Nine, ten. All right, I'm feeling the other side. So again, my knee cannot point. I'm going to point you. Uh, my knee can't point 
that way, or else somebody can get past that. I want to bring my foot in this way so it's between me and them. Like I'm going to step on somebody, okay? So again, my knee is toward my chest, toward my face. I'm going to push, pull. Let's get 10. Ready? Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So again, I would use this to get space, get distance. So that I could get up and base, okay? So the idea would be, I fall back, boom, I come over here, I see that person here, boom, I do my kick, I plant, and I get up and base from there. All right, so let's try this two times. Break ball, side, side kick, side kick, getting up and base. Let's do it twice, ready? Go for it, sit, roll back, pop to your side, one, two, plant that one, get up on the other side. Good, one more time, take your time, sit, roll back, pop to your side, one, Two, five, five. plant, and get up okay. from there. Uh-oh, uh oh I did the opposite side. Dangerous. You don't ever switch it. All right, so that's good. That's our self-defense portion for you guys. Uh, from here, check my time. Okay, good. So from here, we're going to go through kicks. kicks. First, quick leadership mat chat here. Even adults, this is really important. Um, but if you're a fusion student, this is also key, is we want to make sure we're leaders with our friends right now. So maybe you have a friend and you haven't reached out to say, hey, let's hang out virtually. Let's have a, a FaceTime, you know, hangout time. So you can do different apps or different things on the computer where you play ga games with each other. All right. Playing Xbox is one thing, but you can't actually see the person. OK. And right now it's important that we get to see our friends. We get to make each other laugh. We get to hang out, have fun. If you're super competitive, maybe you shouldn't play games online. Maybe you just hang out and, and sing songs together, whatever. All right, uh, parents, adults, you know, reach out to other small businesses, especially friends of yours that own small businesses. See how you can help them. Reach out to a friend you haven't talked to in a long time. Because again, as leaders, we're the ones that step out and we do those things and we help out people that are really down right now. Okay, so that's my quick match out with you guys. We're gonna go to our kicks from section three. So if you're a White, yellow, orange, or green. You don't have section three, but it's still good to know these kicks. The first one we've worked on a couple times. Why is my head in the logo again? Right. You were over here before. I was over there. I'm going to go away. Which there. kind of messes me up, but we got it. You are so adaptable. I am. Yeah, it's incredible. I am okay. so adaptable. So uh, what we're going to work on first is leading leg, double round kick. We're going to go straight to the double round kick, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to practice this kick for 20 seconds. All right, Mrs. Rashad is going to demonstrate a couple times here while I get the clock ready. So lifting, double round. All right, just like that. So pick a side, any side, and go for it. Double round. One, two. Notice she is not moving her arms. They are up solid in guard position. Good. 14 seconds left. 13, 12. Good. Keep it up. Good balance. Excellent. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice. Switch sides. Shake it out a little bit. Get ready. And, and. <laughs> Go for it. All right, double round on the other side. One, two. Good. That's it. Keep it up. One, two. 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10. Don't quit. Nine seconds left. Keep your hands in guard. I know it's easier to drop them when you're in your living room. I'm not there to yell at you. There you go. Four, three, two, one. All right, good. Aspen, did you keep your hands up the whole time? I don't know. I wasn't there to watch. All right. Now, from here, I'm going to teach a spin crescent kick. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing the spin crescent kick, you don't have to do it, all right? But I want to teach it just to kind of show you how this, this works. First, anytime you hear the word spin, you're always going to kick with your back leg, and you're always going to turn that direction. For example, this is my right leg, it's in front. My left leg is behind me. Since my left leg is behind me, I turn to the left. I kick with my left, okay? So if you're with me, we're both facing this way. We're both turning to the left. I turn to the left. I lift my left foot up, make a circle. I land it back behind me. So I turn to the left, look over forward and then crescent kick. So I'm here, turn, look, lift. Again, if you're in a smaller room or if you've got tables and stuff around, be really careful, okay? So again, turn, look, lift. The left leg's behind, I go to the left. If your right leg is behind, you'll go to the right and kick with the right. So you turn to the right, crescent, and land back behind. Turn to the right, look, lift, and spin crescent to the right. So two things we're gonna change this time. Mrs. Rashad is gonna lead you through this. You can either double round, oh, I guess there's four choices. You can double round, you can triple round, you can add the spin crescent, or if you have space and it's safe, you can add the jump spin crescent, okay? Jump spin crescent is what Black Belt Super Testing. Round. Four options, double round, triple round, then you can add a spin crescent or a jump spin crescent. All right, pick one side and go for it. Good, she's got the double and the spin there. Ooh, that peaked early. Don't let it do that. One, two, three, spin there, good. Again, if it's not safe to jump spin where you're at, don't do it, please. We don't want bad things to happen to your cat. 
All right, we're going to switch legs in five seconds. <laughs> Not me. I know, I saw that. Four, three, two, one. All right, other side now. Ooh, she's getting up there. All right. And go for it. Other side now. Double or triple round. Add the spin or add the jump spin. Doing great. Keep it up, gang. Keep it up. Good. Almost there. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Guys, we are almost to the end here. I'm going to talk about how sparring is going to work for this cycle and give you a couple examples. Then we've got our fitness drills and then we're out of here, okay? So quickly, the weight sparring is going to work this time. White and yellow belts. I think you guys are already pretty rock solid with your sparring skills. I've seen you, a lot of you guys did the tournament, so I think you guys are solid. You've got your, your punch attack, kick attack, punch attack. We'll cover that in the next class. But if you are an orange belt and above, the way your test is going to work is you're going to create a rank appropriate. Okay, that means if you're a, so much so am I. If you're a uh, brown or red belt, maybe you've got a couple spin kicks, some double kicks. If you're a black belt, you've got some jump kicks and some spin kicks. All right, uh, but we want to have rank appropriate combos. And there's three combos you're going to create. One that has three moves in it, one that has four moves, and one that has five moves. And at your virtual test, it's online test, on your testing, you'll show your judge your combos three times. You'll do your three move combo three times, your four move combo three times, and your five move combo three times. A couple of tips with it. Number one is if you want to add a block in the beginning or end, you can. But number two, try to start with your leading leg, not your back leg. And number three, try to make sure you show a variety. So if my first combo is double round kick back fist, my second one should not be double round kick, double back fist, okay? It should be three very unique, different combinations, okay? All right. Here, it's time for you to build your little, uh, uh, what's it called, circuit training, okay? So, I'm going to have this over here. Here we go. We'll do this one back here, and we'll do this one right here. Okay, so, where do you want to start, Mrs. Rashad? I want to know what we're doing first. I here. knew she would ask. All right, so right here, I've got my yellow laser beam thing here. All right, so what we're doing here is our legs, they stay nice and light, the ball of our feet just going side to side. Over here, working core, okay? So from here, we're going side to side, not touching the cones, all right? You can even go out, in and out, that's fine also. Sure you can. Yeah, okay, so that's that. And then over here, rotating between dips and push-ups on the chair, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got arms, legs, and core. So go ahead, I'll give you another couple seconds to set yours up. How long are we doing these for? How, she has all the best I questions. I do, I have all the questions, sir. All right, so. <laughs> Each station is going to be, there. we're going to be there for 30 seconds each. And, hold on. You're doing it twice? If I can get, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing here. Huh? It's pretty awesome. And we're going to go through it twice. So, Mr. Mushad, is there a second option for the yellow, uh, whatever this is called? There is. Backflips is the other option. Okay. Give me something else. <laughs> Anything you want to do for legs. All right. So, again, we're going 30 seconds. Try to do as many as you can, as many good reps. It says 35, but don't start until it gets down to 30. Okay. Hopefully, we're ready. And wait till it gets to 30 seconds. I'm going to do this one. Get it over with. And go for it. Anything with legs, arms, or core. Good. Keep it going. Don't stop. Again, I'm just going to say we can push-ups and dips here. You got it. What was the problem? My knee. Don't roll your ankle though. I know. Good. Keep it up. Halfway there already. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy how that works. Good. You can do shoulder tags, any kind of upper body at one, any kind of lower body at the other. Even lunges, squats. Any of those good. Three, two, one. All right. We're going to rotate. Give it a couple seconds here, and then we'll rotate to the next station. Give a little rest. You don't, I don't want. Need no I know you don't want to rest. rest. She doesn't want to rest. She just wants to go. All right, wait till it gets to 30. Whoa. All right, go for it. Nice and light on your feet for some of those. There you go. Get your core crunch or your upper body, whatever one you're doing. Do your best. Stay consistent. Don't overdo it, but don't underdo it. I want you to sleep. Good night. Good. 15 seconds. Feeling the burn. This was such a good idea before I started doing it. Good. Nine seconds. You got it. You got it. I'm very curious to see what you guys made up for yourselves. Four, three, two, one at a time. All right, we're going to rotate next station. Again, get a little rest in between, and then I'll start our clock. And again, don't start until it gets down to the 30. How are we doing, team? Everybody still with me? Who's still here? Give me something. 
Thumbs up, high five. I see an angry face emoji. I'm not sure who threw that at us. <laughs> All right. Whew. Good. And again, start when it gets to the 30. Whew. I get to come back into the fun one. Ready? Go for it. Good. Again, just be consistent. Don't overdo it. Don't underdo it. Just do it. Ooh, that's a good slogan. Think? Yeah, it's surprising no one's used it yet. That's crazy. Yeah. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. What do you want to say, Mr. Chat? I love you. Oh, no. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Figure it out. Yeah, it's your Coach Jen. I can't see the timer, by the way. Um, we're done. Time. All right. Yay! <laughs> Round two. Only going to rotate one more time through. Aspen, you're good. And still going. Excellent. Good. The hoys are still here. Sweaty, me too, and I smell bad. All right, here we go. Whoo! And last round, then we're out of here. When it gets to the 30, we're doing it. And it's there. Here we go. Keep pushing. I know it's not the same as being here. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be here right now. Good. 20 seconds left. Don't quit. Don't give up. I think that's harder than what I was doing. Well, I know you do, Mr. Rusha, but you are not an adult woman. I am not an adult woman. I would like that to be on record. I, I, you know, I like adult women, but wait, there you go. Keep going. No, just hush. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right, rotating to the next one. What's up? What's up, Brooklyn? Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. Almost there. All right, when it gets to the 30, it's there. Here we go. Good, keep going. I'm focusing, I'm not twisting my ankle here. Good times. Only 21 seconds left. The time is flying by. Good, keep it going. Almost there. Whatever you set up for yourself, good job. 10 I wish seconds I had left. set up eating ice cream, that's one of mine. What's that? <laughs> you I wish I had a station of eating ice cream. <laughs> is that your core? That's my core my drill. Core. Two. It's the opposite. Woo! Core. One. Here we are, last station. The last thing we're going to do before we eat dinner tonight. I'm assuming, unless you guys have already eaten, in which case, hope you don't have to. Yeah, never mind. You're way better than the chats. Yeah, you're way more prepared. We're on the stove. Oh, never mind. We're prepared. We're prepared. I just forgot. All right. 30 seconds on the clock. Woo. And go for it. Mrs. Rashad's watching the clock because I can't see it. Can you not see it because you're old? I can't see it because I'm old. Wow. Wow. This is Rochelle. It's so young. She's going to walk home tonight. <laughs> Good. Keep it up. Almost there. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, she says. A little less than that now. Less than 15 Only seconds. 10 seconds. Almost there. This seems such a good idea before I started it. Three. Three. Two. two you can see. One. Oh, and man. time. Good job, huh. guys. Good awesome job. job, gang. So, again, make sure you drop down below your comment of your name, whoever does class. Whew, get a drink of water. All right, one hand in the middle. I did it, and it was hard. One, two, three. I did I it, did. and it was, it was hard. hard. <laughs> you guys are out of here. We will see you soon. You know, you're going to show, Miss. Oh, I am going to show second, second degrees. Degree form. Thank you for reminding me. So, second, you're going to go through last cycle form one more time. And again, we are mirror image, which means if I use my left, you use your left, okay? So, we're going this way. So, from here, we start here. Actually, we start from here at the end of the last form. So, from here, left side, step forward, left chop. Right punch. You're welcome, Mr. Fiona. Thank you for being here, sir. Step forward, right, chop, punch. Then from there, we're gonna go right, high block, switch, hammer, switch, outside block. So we're facing that, we're all facing that way, second degrees and above. From there, this arm's gonna punch. After this leg does a step, side kick away from your screen, punch. Then from there, left high block, right hammer, left outside block, step side kick towards your screen, back arm punch, section one. Section two, right side, we're going to the right side together, low block, same arm, hugs on bottom, outer forearm block, front leg front kick, land, jump, switch front kick. Now to the left, low block, outer forearm block, front leg front kick, jump front kick. Section three, thank you guys, right side, hooking block, round kick, hook kick, round kick, chop, step back, push down, left arm now, hooking block, Round, hook, round, chop, step back, push down, 
up with your elbow, down with a punch. That knee goes to the other knee, I switch. Drop, spin, side kick, punch. All right, how are we doing on that? Any second of using above, you need to go through it one more time, just let me know, or tell me you're good. One more time, we're good. What do we got? Good. You don't want to watch me dance here. How are we doing? All right. One more time. Making verification. Sorry, there's like a lag here. One more time. Okay, okay. So we finish up our leadership form here. Left arm crosses on top. Step forward, left chop, right punch. Then step forward to the right, right chop, left punch. From there, switch right high, switch hammer, switch outside. This arm is going to punch to the back of the classroom after I step, side kick, back arm punch. Then again, my left arm goes up for my high block this time. Right arm hammer, left outside block, facing that way all together, going towards your screen, step, side kick, back arm punch. Then from there, section two. I go to the right corner, we're all going that way. So if there's my screen, we're going diagonally. Low block, hug on bottom, outer form block. Front leg front kick, jump, back leg front kick. From there, hug, low block to the left. Outer forearm block to the left. Front leg front kick, land, jump, back leg front kick. Land facing the front. So I'm going straight towards my screen. My right side is in front, so all of us are facing this way with our bodies. Hooking block. I do a round kick, then a hook kick and a round kick. Hug, chop. From here, I pretend someone's coming in to tackle me. I step back, push down. Now my left arm, hooking block. Then my left leg, round kick, hook kick, round kick, chop. Then I step back, push down. Last series, I come up with my elbow. I go down on a knee with a punch. That's my right knee up. My right knee goes in, switches places with my left. My left leg does a side kick and back arm punch. All right, great job guys and after when this is over with, if you want to go to this and practice it again, just go to this video and fast forward to the very end so you can practice again with me, all right? You guys did great. Thanks for hanging in. Excellent.